video i think adds a whole nother element to it yeah when you know when you go to somebody's website and you see maybe a, a video on the home page that really is in my mind the first thing you'll go to because i want to find out what they do and 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 usually video is the quickest way to get to that Welcome back to the Main Street Marketing Podcast. I am your host, Skip Rinky, and today we have the one, the only, the infamous Nate Kufal, who's the video specialist here at Paragon Marketing Group. And it's great to have you on here. We're going to talk about why video marketing is effective. But before we get into today's topic, I want to remind you to make sure that you go back and watch our last episode, The Benefits of Direct Mail Marketing, uh, that we had that on last month. Make sure you check that out because there is a lot of great information that business owners can uh, use to grow their business in this year and the coming year. So welcome, Nate, to the program today. I appreciate having you on here today. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do here at Paragon? So um, I'm a videographer, mm -hmm. vid video specialist, technically, uh, my title. But um, so, yeah, I work on um, videos for uh, businesses, our clients. Mm -hmm. um, so making uh, ads, commercials, uh, long form, short form, you know, whatever it is, uh, I'm the person that does that. Today we're going to talk about five reasons why video marketing is so important. And if you're using it, great. Use it more. And if you're not, this is why you need to get started with it. So the first point we're going to talk about is that video grabs attention. It it does, obviously, it grabs attention. So And that's kind of a blanket statement. Um, but it is really attention getting. So tell me a little bit about in your vision and your, how you see it, why, why that uh, video grabs attention. What's the three major elements that are deployed in that? Well... Or more. Like you said, um, three major elements are sight, sound, and motion. Mm -hmm. um, those are things that you really don't get from uh, just just a basic web page. Um, you can use images and, um, and text, obviously, to tell a story and stuff like that. Right. Um, but video adds um, so much to that, especially uh, motion, that gets people interested right away it's like the eye goes straight to that whenever they they see motion mm -hmm. um they tend to want to continue to look at it it's not just like they look at a picture and look away it it, it holds them there right right exactly yeah and um and then you, of course you got sound that's that's another element that um definitely helps grab attention um if they if they got their audio on of course um, good point um but uh, yeah, yeah, it's those three elements that that really uh, help grab attention. And you know, if you think about it, uh, the first thing you really have to do um, when you're marketing, you have to grab grab people's attention. That's right. the very first thing that has to happen. So what do they have like three seconds to make an, uh, an impact on somebody or something? Along oh, those oh, lines? oh, it's quick. And especially with video, the um, the drop off rate, you really have to catch people. Um, grab them in the first couple of seconds, but because if you don't, they're gone. Yeah, they're gone in in, in you know maybe five seconds. Well, think about what we do when we make videos for the YouTube pre rolls. You know, they have to be where people have to watch that first five seconds. You know, and so while they're there, you if, if you capture their attention that first first five seconds, they may continue to watch that whole twenty or fifteen or thirty second clip. We've seen that with a couple of videos we've done for. Um, a couple of our clients. We did one for our uh, a King's Head Hair Salon. Um, that is one of our clients in Milwaukee. They do hair replacement, and he did a video. And that first five seconds grabs attention. He has a very long rate, and people really, really watch that all that video because it's it's pretty intriguing. It's pretty it's it's attention grabbing. You know, the other thing that's really important when you said in there, you talked about sound. Um, you and I have gone. We talk about sound a lot in when we talk about and when we're looking at videos, um, and picking the right sound the right the right track to go with it um i mean what's what's your thought on the sound i mean how do you really i mean how do you look at it how do you pick the, the track versus i know we do it differently but i mean how how do you look at the the sound you're going to be using for that well for that when it when it comes to sound sound is actually more important than the video itself mm -hmm. um it's 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 often said people will forgive bad video before they will give forgive bad sound if you got bad sound your video's dead. So Good so point. that's that's the main element is sound. It's really, really important. Um, and uh, secondly, when you're talking about, um, you know, bringing in, you know, a, a, the right music to, to match whatever mm -hmm. mood you're trying to, to uh, convey in the video. Right. Um, sound effects are another way you can do that. Um, and of course, just making sure that that your that your your audio is clear that that people can hear what people are saying clearly 
it, it's just so important. I can't. Th- I can think of so many videos that I've watched in the past where I was just not interested in them at all. And because of the sound was there and the video was there, it was good video content, yeah, I locked into it. So case in point, Kathy, my, my wife, loves to watch home improvement shows. And we watch them all the time. Um, and so I, she was watching this one where they were redoing this cabin. I was like, I really am not interested in looking at it because we've seen so many. But all of a sudden they had this, the, the music came on. It was like almost like a, not eerie, um, but it was like dr- dramatic, like a dramatic type of cut because they were something was happening to the house and it kind of grabbed my attention because they were ripping the wall down. <laughs> and all of a sudden the video was really because they had the drone of the crane coming in to grab it. And then next thing I know, I'm 20 minutes into the show. And I'm like, I didn't really want to watch this, you know. So it, when you talk about sound and you talk about the video and the camera angles and the quality of the shot, it makes a huge difference. Now we're going to talk about something. We're going to talk about video shows and not tells. What does that mean to you? I know that's something we, you mentioned here, but to, what does that mean to you where video shows and not tells? So what I mean by that is that, like, say you're, you're visiting a website, mm-hmm. you know, for the first time. Right. Um, what... Uh, what what you could do is you could put a maybe <laughs> three or four pages of text tell, uh, telling about what uh, what you do, but nobody wants to read that. No, no. Um, now you can put some images. You can you can do stuff to to make it a little more interesting. Right. Um, but video, I think, adds a whole nother element to it. Yeah. When you know when you go to somebody's website and you see maybe a, a video on the home page, that really is in my mind the first thing you'll go to. Because I want to find out what they do, and 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 usually video is the quickest way to get to that. Yeah, and it adds personality to it. You know, it, mm-hmm. there's it, you have to have words on a website. There's just no two ways around. I mean, you have to have it for search engine optimization. And yes, there's a certain amount. That's a whole different podcast. But when you put the video on that, and if it's like, let's say it was me, you know, we were they're talking about it. It adds it adds a personal element to it, um, and it could be well, even if it's a product or a service. You know, so let's say it was like we did uh, or like a, um, a lawn care service or something along those lines where you're showing the equipment, showing cutting, showing edging. I mean, that it just it, it's it will people can almost see that happening at the, on their residence or where they're at. Mm-hmm. OK, Nate, you also had something else here. It's you said where a picture is worth a thousand words and a video is worth seven hundred and twenty pictures. What does that mean? I, I am very exact with that number, actually. Seven hundred twenty okay. pictures. So. Um, what I mean by that is most of our videos are like 30 seconds long. Um, and if you do a little bit of math, each second of video is 24 frames per second. It's not exact, but without getting technical, that's what it is. Okay. You get to, so a 30 second video is actually 720 pictures at the end of the day. Okay. So I guess I've never really done the math and added it up. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, that makes that makes total sense. So I say that as as more of like a technical uh, jab, I guess you could say. Yeah. But um, the the point being that that's what video is. It is moving pictures, um, and you can put a lot into a short span of time. Mm-hmm. And um, again, going back to video showing and not telling, um, you know how we have. Uh, um, uh, when you buy a new product, a lot of times it comes with like a small instruction booklet on yeah. how to put it together. Yeah. Um, and the pictures might be useful um, in a lot of cases, but I think a lot of people have kind of skipped the instruction books these days and look for videos on how to do that. I don't read instruction books. Exactly, because you can all. find a video. I don't even watch the video. To show I just you figure out how to put, put it together. I don't exactly. read instruction manuals. You don't want the instruction <laughs> manual telling you how to I put know. it together. You I'm the guy that ends show you. and I'm the guy that ends up with all kinds of extra screws. Mm-hmm. So those would be good things for me to to kind of hand it so, to. So that's another example of video showing and not telling. Hmm. All right, interesting. But you know when you talk about something else you, you talk about how video tells a story. Um you do we we do a lot of we've done a lot of storytelling type videos. Um you know in our time together. But I can name one that you did that made an immediate impact because stories everybody's got a story to tell but you did a video for um uh an organization that was working with um drugs and how drugs had affected these people and it affected their lives because one of them had lost their brother um as part of of doing the as part of doing the drugs um and that was a very impactful video 
because when everybody watched it, you you could have heard a pin drop when after somebody watched it, and they shared it with people that have with kids really is what it was focused on it was for kids so they didn't get involved with um didn't get involved with drugs but tell me a little bit about what goes into telling their what goes into creating a video that for the story i mean so tell me a little bit how you go about creating a video a video for the storytelling video right well i mean really it it is focused on 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 the people in general mm-hmm. um and there there's not really a whole lot you have to do from a uh uh, video production standpoint, except to, um, I guess, it, it comes into the way you put it together later. Mm-hmm. Um, how you light it, how you um, how you decide to want to uh, present them on on a set. Right. That was a lot of of what went into that video. We put in um, kind of a dark background and, and really not a whole lot uh, in terms of what's in the shot, but uh, more more focused on. Uh, some some of the movement uh in some of the shots and um just trying to make it a little bit more dynamic that way Mm -hmm. i tell people that you see things differently than a lot of other than i that i would ever look at so when we when we start doing a video you ask a lot of questions up front which is awesome because then you get a feel for what we're trying to convey and if you're not getting the right answers, you you dig and you want more information. You want more information, and that's what makes these good these videos good at the end. They're great at the end because you're getting all that information up front, and then you're framing that in your mind when you're creating that story video. Right, you and d- especially storytelling. Um, now, from my end, might become a little more into it when it comes to creating trailers uh, mm-hmm. for for more longer form video, which is what we did in that case. Yeah. Um, and uh, the trailer, especially for that uh, organization, was really powerful. Oh yeah, that was um, the was that the roller coaster? Oh no 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 no! Sorry, that was that, a was, separate a, that one. was a separate one. But right. um, but yeah, the, the trailer in general, because it combined uh, a number of the uh, more powerful moments from those individual stories, mm-hmm. um, to to really make a, a a powerful video that really really did impact. No, it did absolutely, and and so it, but it, that was a wonderful video, by the way. Been, you do all the videos you do are great, even when we did did the pigeon racing one. That was pretty fun. Yeah, that's what I always say is I, I've I've shot uh, just about everything from robots to pigeon racing. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard anybody ever say that they could do that. Well, when you work for a marketing company, you know that's we work with a lot of different people, and you don't know what you're going to be shooting. And we uh, and we wrap so, our arms around all of them. Yep. And what that does, but the other thing we would talk about, and this is point number four, is that video builds trust. Um, And I want to talk a little bit more about that and kind of break that down um, from that perspective. Um, Explain, like, from your perspective, how can can video build um, or, you know, or maybe even break the trust of a viewer? Right. Well, I mean, people can smell dishonesty from a mile away. Yeah, right. Um. So obviously you want to be honest, but uh, more than that, the, the the point I want to make with with video building trust is they actually get to know you to some extent. Mm-hmm. Like if you're creating a video um, that you want to put on your websites, maybe you just you know it's about you and your business, maybe how you start a little bit of the history, right? Um, and that goes back to the storytelling element as well. Um, people like to hear about that. Mm-hmm. They want to know how you started, and um, now obviously they're they're probably more interested in the product, but I think they're also, especially these days, a little more interested in, in kind of who, who they're buying from and, okay, what's, the, what's their background a little bit? And, and knowing a little bit more about that, I think, uh, really goes a long way to um, really, like, like if they get to know you, they kind of know a little bit more about what goes into the product and, 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 and why that product is important. And, and if it's, if it is a uh, a good product to buy, right? Who am I buying from? And why am I buying it from them? And right. why why do they do what they do? And you're you know we we just I just talked about this you know earlier this morning with a, um, a potential client. We were talking about the relationship, you know, our relationship of what it was going to look like from a client company perspective going forward. But it's no different than the clients or the 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 end users looking to use a service. Um, people don't really want to go from company to company to company they want to get with a company they want to know who they are do they provide good service for other people can you see that 
Um, but how can that relationship be going forward? And I think words on a website don't convey that. They're cold. They're stale. Um, but when you put it to a video and you have the owner of the organization or somebody in the organization who's passionate about it and they talk about their why and they talk about the organization, I think it really helps bolster um, the beginning of the relationship. And I think it helps, well, video converts. It really helps people convert from people from prospect to customers. And so we, we've seen that statistically. It's, I think it's like 67% of all people convert with a company when they watch a video about them. It's something along those lines. I, I might be quoting it wrong, but, um, videos changed over the years. You know, I mean, I think about when I started doing video, I mean, I was doing it with cassette tapes, you know, they were the big cassette tapes then it went to the mini cassette tapes um but it's just it's changed but the one thing it is is that video is convenient nowadays i mean there's all different kinds nick that could be an, an interpreted in, in a variety of ways um but how is video convenient especially in like let's say 2023 and, and beyond well it's especially convenient you got you got a, a little device in your pocket that you can pull up at any point you want mm -hmm. and hey you know you're talking about, you know, with somebody, um, maybe about a product that, that you, you found online and you can go straight to it. You can, you can find a video, uh, right away, just, just telling exactly about, uh, what that product does. And yeah, it's, it's, it's right in front of us all the time. We can. At a moment's anywhere. notice, you can snap a video. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's, but it's crazy. But they said there was something, I think it was in 2023, they said that online, that they expected that video was going to be over almost 83% of all web traffic. I mean, that's, that's staggering. If you think about how many people are on the internet, it's, so it's the most popular type of content. I mean, mm -hmm. you got a whole, you, you think you got TikTok, you got, I mean, you got all that. It's, it's crazy. Right. Um, and the other point I want to make on that is it's, it's not, just convenient for the consumer necessarily mm -hmm. it's also convenient for you as a um, uh, someone who's putting a product out there mm -hmm. because you can pack a lot of information into a small period of time with a video and that's always also um you got to kind of think about um keeping in in mind uh uh the 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 time that your your customers your clients are are putting into uh, just just watching your video yeah um, you don't want to take up you know too much of their time mm -hmm. uh, but you can get a lot into just a 30 second you know it's like a it's it's like a I guess a short ele elevator pitch mm -hmm. but it's probably 10 times more effective because again going back to showing versus telling you can actually show them what you do right or show them you know before and after. Yep. You know, somebody's citing a house, you could take a quick pan of a before of the shot and an after, and you can use that. And that's, there's, yeah. that's proof in the and pudding right there. what, three seconds. To do yeah, that. right. Yeah. And you know how many business owners forget about it? And they just, they glance right over it. They say, oh, I, to I, I totally forget about that stuff. Well, that's valuable. That's valuable tool. It's sitting in your pocket because they're, people are calling you on it. Use it to use it to take a video. Um, so, just in real quick summary, if you've been thinking about using video in your business, you know we hope that this uh, the information we that Nate and I provided to you today is going to really help you either increase the amount of uh, video that you're doing, or you know you're going to get into it because it's something that you need to be that you really need to be doing it. So, um, we have, uh, I mean. There's a lot of different things that you can do in order to get video. We talk about how convenient it is with your phones. Um, but, you know, we can offer a lot of insight to you as well as being from Paragon. I mean, Nate is just a wealth of knowledge over here. I mean, he's been, he's extremely talented. He knows everything about cameras and editing. So if you want to get into that, use us as a resource. Um, and if you want us to take a look at your next project, we'd be happy to do that. But, you know, feel free to visit us at paragonmarketinggroup.com. You can see some of Nate's samples. Or it's all awesome work. He does a great job. Um, and But, you know, give us a call. We're here to help you out. Thank you for being on the show today. I really appreciate you giving us some insight about some of the things with video and uh, sharing some of that with us. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, don't miss out on our next episode. It's the last episode of the year uh, where we have a very another very special guest with us. Emma Opperman from our organization is going to be here. And she's going to be talking to us about what's on the wish list for 2024. So don't, don't forget to uh, tune in to watch that one. So that's coming up next month. Again, I'm Skip. I'm the host of the Main Street Marketing Podcast. Wishing you many, many successes. And we'll talk to you soon.
Hey, thanks for watching the latest episode of the Main Street Marketing Podcast. We really hope you got some great information. If you know somebody else who can use it, share it and like it because we want to help as many business owners as we can. And also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so as we release more episodes, we can give you even more content to help you and your business. Thanks.